I, I should hold up my hands and go, okay, you can't talk about Operation Transformation in a, in a disingenuous way here. I used to work on the programme. I was the medical expert on it for five years. Um, do, you, do you watch the show? Are you familiar with it? There's a lot of talk and a lot of chatter about yeah. this today. I, I, look, I don't watch this religiously, but I have seen it uh, from time to time. And look, I, there, there was a couple of elements of the show I was a little bit uncomfortable with when I did when I did watch it. Um, particularly, the thing that I always jumped out at me was the uh, the, the weigh-in section where um, the, the the people involved, the participants, had to turn up in Lycra. And, and for the men in particular, the men had to go, if, if I, I think I'm right in saying, had to go topless for it. They would wear like now, cycling I, shorts, yeah. It's cycling shorts and no and no top. Now, look, I I am not, um, I'm I'm probably carrying a few pounds. I'm not six or seven stone overweight. I wouldn't fancy the idea of going on national TV with my shirt off. To be completely honest, and I never really understood why it was necessary for those uh, those participants to stand there with their t- with their tops off and in in kind of skimpy lycra. I always thought that was really difficult. Um and maybe at times maybe at times the the tone was a little hectoring with with some of those uh, with some of those participants. However, I against that I they're kind of small points. I I always anytime I watched the show I always found it quite inspirational. The people who were there clearly wanted to be there and were clearly getting a huge amount out of it both uh, physically and, and I think mentally as well there was a real sense that the communities uh, that their local communities were, were getting behind them and I think to be fair to the show like we can't bury our heads in the, in the sand the show is addressing uh, a major issue in, in Irish society we are top of pretty much every table there is in relation to excess weight or, or, or obesity and I think the show is, is helping uh, in relation to that so I think some of the criticism is a little bit uh, harsh. I did have, as I say, one or two things I was uncomfortable about. But that's, uh, that said, I think on balance, it was kind of a positive thing. Yeah. Uh, look, uh, as I say, I-, I worked on the show, so I am not a disinterested party. But what I would say about it is this is, from working on it overall, I think it was a huge positive. Now, I, 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 that's not to dismiss the concerns of people who might be upset by, by any any talk of weight loss if, if you have an eating disorder and, and those things can be triggering and, and I would suggest it's not the show for you. But the vast majority of people who engaged with the show, the communities that got out active walking, we turned on the lights in, 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 you know, on GAA pitches at night so people would have somewhere to go at night to exercise. Supermarkets came on board in terms of, you know, highlighting healthy options there, you know, get the fruit and veg into your... I remember once years ago walking into an Aldi and with my own kids and seeing a life-size cut-out cardboard of myself standing <laughs> the door but not expecting to and kind of going oh Jesus but look you know I, I would say something else as well the experts and I know them all personally I know Sumi I know Eddie I know Carl and I know Aoife are incredibly well motivated to help people not just the five leaders but anybody out there who watches the show so I think you have to acknowledge the benefits that that show does too and I know that there's a, a, a something of a fashion online to attack things and, and, I, and I know that, that there's been a huge sort of a, amount of talk on, online and people giving out about it but but I do believe that it's well motivated and as somebody who has worked on it I do believe the absolute bona fides of, of, of the experts that they are trying to help people I, I absolutely believe that